Alright, what's going on all you randies over there on the Volt Clan channel? My name is BKYT, and today I'm be doing a post over here on the Volt channel, and what it is, is I'm part of the TapX Nation, the TapX Studios, whatever you want to call us, and I'm representing them, and today we're doing a post for post, so pretty much the TapX Nation posts on the Volt channel, and the Volt posts over here on our channel, TapX, and this is a great way for us to get each other exposure, get our names out there, and if you guys don't already know, we're kind of like brother clans, we work together, uh, we're going to be helping each other grow throughout the rest of ghosts uh, into advanced warfare and I think it's a great idea a great way to get our names out there like I said before and let's get into the gameplay you guys are watching in the background today so what you guys are watching today is a hundred and three gun streak with the a94 rocking that diamond camo on the map slums so hopefully you guys do enjoy that beast gameplay in the background by tap x slayers if you guys do make sure to go over and check out his channel and subscribe along with come over and check out the tap x nation if you guys do enjoy beast pub stopping black ops 2 gameplays like this along with the commentary so you guys are probably wondering who I am well I'm actually a commentator for the TapX, and uh, you know, Scatman was unable to make this commentary, he's a little bit too busy, and he gave me the great opportunity to be able to make it. This is a huge opportunity for me to be able to commentate over here on the Volt Clan channel. So, if you guys do enjoy my commentary, definitely just coming over and subscribing to me along with Slayers and TapX. So, let's get into today's commentary topic. And what are we talking about today is a hookup story gone completely, completely wrong, guys. And what I mean, guys, by this is that I was hooking up with her, and pretty much her dad walked in on on us and I can't even explain to you guys how awkward and how bad the story is. It's pretty embarrassing for me to tell but let's get right into it. So uh, this took place during my freshman year in high school. I'm still a freshman right now. I don't really know why I started off like that but I might as well give you some background information and you know I was talking to this girl. I found out from my friend that she was a major major slut. When I say that guys I mean like she would give you head on the first day you hang out and uh, so I started snapchatting her doing my thing you know snapchatting girls in about two to three days. I'm gonna call this girl Ashley in this comment uh, Ashley sent me nudes and I asked for them and in two to three days guys I'm not exactly sure on the exact time frame but she sent me nudes and getting nudes in like three days guys is it, it's so fast I can't even explain to you guys most girls I've ever talked to will not send them that fast you have to talk to them for a little bit longer uh, have a thing with them for a little bit longer before you get them and this girl sent them in three days after talking to me so I knew I had something good right here I knew this was kind of the girl that you would hook up with and then never talk to again uh, so you know we kept on talking and finally that weekend came and I asked do you want to hook up, maybe we can hang out and all that kind of stuff. And she's like, yeah, sure, maybe we can come over to my house. So I was like, alright, that's fine, I can come over to your house. And we planned to do that Saturday. Now, unfortunately, this Saturday was unable to work out because her brother plays hockey. And for any guys that don't understand, hockey is a huge requirement. It's something that takes up a lot of your time. And if you're one of those siblings that supports your brother, sister, whoever plays hockey, and you have to go to their games, you probably know that too. Because hockey games are weird times. They take a lot of time and all that kind of stuff. So, unfortunately, she had to go to her brother's hockey game. So, she was unable to hang out with me that day. Uh, but I was like, that's fine. That's all right. We can just hang out another Saturday and, you know, do our thing. And she's like, yeah, it'll be cool. Cool, we should do that and you know a little tip for you guys here is that if a girl says oh, I can't hang out like this day uh, don't get mad don't get like bummed or anything like that it's like oh it's cool we can just hang out maybe this day or the next day or whatever so that's exactly what it did it worked out in my favor we ended up planning to hang out that next Saturday so luckily for me this Saturday it worked out perfectly I was gonna go to her house we we're gonna hang out do our thing hook up all that kind of stuff so it was around I'll say about 12 o'clock I get to her house and I just told my mom that we were I was friends with this girl uh, that we just gonna hang out and maybe like watch a movie go out Saturday do something like that and you know we started off in our basement uh, we were just hanging out down there we were talking I think we were watching some movie or TV I'm not exactly sure this took away uh, back a little while ago so I'm not exactly sure on the exact movie or what the hell we were watching and uh, you know finally I make my move I start to lean over and I start making out with this girl so this is kind of like the PG-13 the R-rated part of this commentary so if you're kind of like under the age of 12 or something like that I wouldn't really suggest you listen to the rest of this video uh, if you want to uh, feel free but uh, I'm gonna get into some pretty graphic things here so let's get into it so getting farther into the story guys um, you know I'm making out with her I'm doing my thing I started fingering her and all that kind of stuff uh, all that usual hookup stuff and uh, you know all of a sudden her hand comes into my pants you know Ashley starts giving me hand and then all of a sudden she takes down my pants I'm standing up she starts giving me head uh, one of the best boy jobs I've ever gotten by on this girl named Ashley she was a great job at it I mean whoo uh, you know if you ever want a really good boy job I'll hook you up with this girl named Ashley I probably could give you her number she probably give you nudes in three days and 
give you head in the next two. So, uh, <laughs> I'm just kidding, guys. But, uh, you know, so this girl's giving me head, you know, doing her things. I'm getting ready to finish and all that kind of stuff. I'm still feeling her up and all that good stuff. And all of a sudden, I hear this noise. And I couldn't really understand what this noise was at the time. And then I realized someone was coming down her staircase into her basement. And that's when it popped in my head that this girl, there's no way she's getting on her shirt and all her clothes before that person gets to the bottom of the stairs. I pulled up my pants and her dad turned the corner just in time and saw exactly what was going on and he was pissed. He grabbed me by my arm, he pulled me up the stairs, he's like, you need to leave right now. I was like, alright, alright, alright. So I called my mom, I told her to come pick us up saying that we were bored and I left and it was probably one of the most awkward moments ever. I've never talked to this girl again. I feel bad for the relationship between her and her dad because her dad knew exactly what was going on and you know, as I was going up those stairs, I was still pulling out my pants but that's pretty much all for the commentary today. If you guys did enjoy this commentary, uh, make sure to come over and check out my channel. If you guys did enjoy that Beast 103 Gun Streak by Tap X Lawyers, go over and subscribe to him. And if you guys do enjoy the content that Tap X posts, I would highly recommend coming over and checking out our channel. I'm sending out, guys. Peace.